Matt, uh, tell us, tell us about the situation for you when this uh, this uh, magnitude 8.9 hit. Well, it was absolutely unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I've been living here for eight years now, and this was quite simply the biggest. Uh, longest lasting earthquake I've ever experienced here. And that's it because uh, Kyung La, our reporter there, was saying that she thought it was four to five minutes. Was that, was that your, your sense as well? Oh, it, yes, the ground was rolling for an extended period of time. I wasn't exactly sure what to do or where to go. I'd never been prepared for anything like this. My wife and I stood outside and basically held on to the outside of our house. You couldn't even stand up. I mean, literally at the peak of these uh, waves that were washing over the ground, you literally could not stay on your feet. You had to kind of crouch down in a ball or put your back against something so you didn't fall. And that's exactly what we did for the length of the duration of it, which I would say was about probably a minute to two minutes. It felt like a lot longer than that, let me tell you. In, indeed. And are you saying that you live there or that, you, that you're, you're actually traveling there? To uh, I actually live here. I've lived here for the last eight years, and I live on the west side of the city in a little uh, a section of Tokyo called Kichijoji. And, uh, yes, this, there are earthquakes from time to time, but we have never, ever felt anything on the magnitude, the literal magnitude of what we experienced today. And, and, and that's, that's exactly the story we hear. Now, Matt, as we are talking, we are looking at this extraordinary wave, another tsunami wave moving toward uh, the Japanese coast. And where are you located? Are you away from any threat of uh, tsunami coming ashore? Yes, we're very fortunate to be located quite far inland. Of course, there's some rivers and streams around here, but those aren't being affected by the tsunami. We're uh, kind of, uh, I, would, I would say, a good 10 to 15 miles away from the coastline, so we don't have to really worry about that where we are. But with the footage that we're seeing, the video that we're seeing on the television screens is just, it's absolutely, uh, it's, it's heart-wrenching, actually, because you know that probably a lot of those people did not have a ch chance to evacuate for the uh, wave hit, even though... They were telling people, you need to get away, you need to get away from the shorelines, you need to get away from the water. Uh, just watching this wave hit and cars and, and buildings and houses being swept away in it, I think we're going to see a significant number of casualties, especially up in the northern part of the country where the uh, quake was epicentered. And as you mentioned, you've been there for a number of years. I, I do have to apologize because someone was actually talking in my ear when you mentioned the number of years that you've been there. How long did you say you'd been there? I've been here for eight years. My wife is Japanese, and she's, uh, she's lived here most of her life. And uh, I can tell you, this was something neither of us were. We were completely unprepared for this. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful spring day. It was sunny outside. I had just come home from a uh, little errand to the grocery store, and all of a sudden, bam, it just hit. And you could tell this was different instantly from other little tremors that we've had before. I mean, it just picked up in intensity. It ramped up. The gentle shaking and things started coming off the shelves, things started falling off our desks, and you could hear this strange, eerie creaking sound of all of the buildings all around us as they were kind of shaken by this, uh, by the tremor of the ground, and it was something I, you know, I hope I never have to hear again, but uh, unfortunately, we keep getting aftershocks. And uh, the, we've and had three or four so yeah. far, and I've Probably, there's probably going to be other ones as well. And the reality is, I mean, living in Japan, this is uh, something that uh, you're very used to. But as you say, and of course, as people who've lived there all their lives, they know when this is different. And this felt very different. It absolutely did. I think this is going to be a, uh, a tremor to remember, so to speak. And uh, I think people are going to be talking about this for a long time to come. Because really, Tokyo hasn't seen anything like this in decades.